from you guys this Sunday? Uh, you know, uh, you know, the division games are always tough, especially against the, the New York Giants. And um, just just looking to be way better than last week. Um, can't beat ourselves. We can't get behind early in the game. We can't get behind uh, behind the sticks. We got to come out. Um, we got to establish that run, and uh, we got to get some momentum early. We got to start fast. When it comes to avoiding third down and long situations, how much responsibility do you take to make sure that you don't get into too many of those throughout the course of a ball game? I mean, all it comes down to is executing on first and second down. If we execute on first and second down, execute our plays, then you know we should be in third and manageable. Zeke, did it feel like you were close in that first half? I mean, just looking back, it seemed like you were one guy away on a couple of plays from really breaking a big play. When you watched the film, did it feel like it was closer than maybe the stats showed in the first half? I think in the run game, we were we were closer. Um, but like I said, uh, we did a lot of stupid stuff. We did a lot of stuff that put us back in the, in the chains. Uh, you know what I mean? Just this simple simple stuff like, you know, not knowing our assignments and uh, letting up an easy sack. And it's kind of, you know, it's, it's tough when it's second and 17. It's a lot easier when it's second and eight, second and seven. Uh, well, that's just the mentality we've had since I've been here. Just uh, we believe in the guys we have. We believe in our offensive line. They've they've uh, been great players for us. Uh, they've been, you know, the best players on our team. And so, uh, you know, we got to rally around those guys. Um, and we just got to keep working. What do you make of the RPO phenomenon in the NFL now? Uh, you know, I like it. Uh, it takes an extra guy out the box. It's a way to uh, even up those numbers in the box. But, uh, I mean, I think... It's just making it even tougher on those those defenses, uh, just having to defend. They're running the pass in the same play, uh, you know, and it takes a lot of execution and and uh, work from the offense just to you know get that right. How much of is that a point of emphasis for this team? Uh, it's something that we we uh, definitely started running this year. We've ran a little bit more uh, in the previous years, but you know we definitely ran it a lot more, and uh, I think it, it it was our best play on Sunday. I mean, he's a great, exciting young player, and uh, you know, I saw him in college. I played against him in college, and you know, he's special. He, he's a guy that's special, and uh, he's, he's a guy that you know, at any play, he could take it to the house. So, I mean, the, the defense definitely is going to be keyed into him this weekend, and, and that's definitely one of the guys they're focused on containing. Did your relationship? Oh uh, yeah, that's when I that's when I first met him, and uh, you know we started talking a little bit, and that's kind of yeah, where, where our friendship began. How much do you kind of keep up with each other, texts or whatever? Uh, just hitting him here and there, you know, give him a little bit of motivation, seeing how you doing. What player moments stick out most from playing college? I would say the biggest, the, like the, the the moment I remember the most about playing Saquon is uh, one drive, I went out and I hurdled a guy. And then literally the next drive, he comes back and hurt us on our guys. So, like, you know, that, that, was, that was pretty cool to me, uh, you know, just to see him, you know, come back and do the same thing. Do you think fans will see that hurdle back and forth this weekend? Yeah, they might. Do you think that your success the last two years maybe influenced New York being willing to take him with the number two draft pick? Uh, I, I think it des definitely might have. But, I mean, he's a phenomenal player. He, he's a great player, definitely. I think, honestly, he was the best player in that draft. And so, uh, I mean, he deserved to get picked that high. Speaking of college, Ohio State's uh, in town against TCU. What are your thoughts about that one? How's that one going to shake out? Uh, you know, I'm going to ride with my Buckeyes. I'm always going to ride with them. Um, they have a, a, a great front. You know, they have a, a great group of guys on that defensive line and, and in that linebacker court. Of course, so I mean, it's going to take execution of from us and uh, you know getting in that momentum, getting in that rhythm early in the game. That's really important, you know, just kind of move, losing Travis and not having him out there. He he's a guy that kind of directs a lot of you know the mic IDs and and where the protection slide and and all that, and so you know as. That's something that you know we we've been kind of working on as a as a group, kind of uh, picking up where you know he he's not there. What have you seen from Connor, and how is he progressing um, in the game that you played with 
Uh, Connor, I mean, Connor's doing great. You know what I mean? It, He's a rookie, so he's gonna have a little, a little bumps here and there. But what I like about him most is that he comes to work every day. You know what I mean? He never gets down on himself. He's he's constantly working, and, and I mean, that's just the 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 um, culture of that group. And you know, they're gonna pick him up. They're gonna keep getting him better. And uh, I mean, he's gonna be a great player. You talked about being better this week and having been close last week. How much did you guys learn after watching the film? Did you see some things there that you can that are pretty easy to fix for this week? Yeah, very much so. It just was a lot of miscommunication uh, and just basically not doing our jobs. That's all it came down to, and, and that put us behind in the chains, and it, and it uh, didn't give us an opportunity to get get uh, in a groove on offense. And uh, we kind of left our defense hanging. They went out there. They played great ball. They played a good game, and we, let the, we left them hanging. We left them on the field too long. So this, this week we got to... We got to make sure we get out there. Uh, we sus sustain some drives, move the ball, and put points on the board. It has looked like every year of your career, it takes a game or two for you to kind of establish that momentum. How how much truth is in that, and where do you feel like uh, things can kind of turn a corner here after game one? Um, it does kind of seem like it's it's been that way, but uh, I mean, we just got we just got to get a rhythm. We just got to execute. As long as we our game plans are meant, you know, for us to be on schedule. You know, we like to run the ball, and uh, I mean, it's tough to run the ball when you're second and 17. It kind of takes a run out the game. And so uh, now you got to get back on track, and then you got to convert a third down. So, I mean, as long as we stay on schedule, we should be good. What's the best part about playing at AT&T Stadium? Say it again? What's the best part about playing at AT&T Stadium? Uh, just getting in front of those fans. Uh, I mean, it's a beautiful stadium, stadium one, but we get to get in front of, you know, more of our fans because our fans always do a great job of traveling but you know we get to get in front of all of them in Dallas and uh, just that energy is is different and, uh, I think there's nothing like it. See, Brandon called today saying that they just need to focus on you and if they get the ball in Dak's hands more they'll be okay and have a better shot at winning. What goes through your mind when you hear that? Um, I mean I just I feel like that's how every defense is going to play us and uh, I mean we have a lot of playmakers on the outside Dak's a playmaker himself and so I mean it just like I said it comes down to what we do if we go out there and execute we stay on schedule we'll be just fine thank you why does Dak seem good when things might be not at their best for him after a couple games of the slumps he never seems to if he does have a slump it never seems to last long or effective it doesn't seem effective uh just the way he approaches the game you know he he has a short memory and uh I mean he, he and he's a good leader so I mean I mean, when you're when you're a leader, you can't kind of harp on things. You gotta move on. You gotta bring the guys with you, and that's what he does a good job at.